finding that this is a, a terrible diversion away from the real work that, that I have been elected to do. Mr. Mayor, I have no choice but to ask for your official resignation from office as mayor so we can repair the damage done by you and your wife. A modern day witch trial is continuing to unfold in Quinell, British Columbia. As calls for the city's mayor to resign from local First Nations, some community members and even a few city council members continue because, get this, his wife read and passed along a book about residential schools that they don't like. I'm Drea Humphrey with Rebel News and in today's report, Quidel Mayor Ron Paul joins me to give a full statement on what he's describing as being the most difficult time in his life. Who needs book burning when in 2024 the simple act of a family member reading a book about history and then sending it to a couple of others for their opinion is enough for cancel culture monsters to get you having to defend your livelihood and reputation? That's the exact scenario unfolding right now in Caribou, B.C.'s Quinell City because the mayor's wife, Pat Morton, dared to read and then suggests that a couple of others do the same. The book that she read is called Grave Error. How the media misled us and the truth about residential schools. It was published in 2023 by True North and Dorchester and was edited by Dr. Tom Flanagan, historian C.P. Champion, and written by several authors, including former university professor Francis Wittison, whom my colleague Adam Seuss has an in-depth interview coming up for you soon. Much like my Rebel News documentary released in 2022 called Kamloops The Buried Truth, which you can watch at our special website called KamloopsDocumentary.com or even on Tubi TV, this top-selling Amazon book debunks the sensational claim put out by Kamloops to come Shwetmik First Nation Band government in 2021. That claim, which preceded a mass church burning and vandalism spree across the country, was that the remains of 215 children who were former students at the Kamloops Indian Residential School had been discovered buried in unmarked graves. In short, not a single body has been found even now close to three years later, and despite that actually being good news, schools across the country still teach children the horror story, as though it were fact, and even our very own members of Parliament rise for moments of silence for the discovery that to date never was. This book also is a collection of essays and articles that provide evidence that challenge other prominent narratives that are apparently above scrutiny according to some of those whom I don't doubt are having their feelings hurt by others learning the contrary. Such as, while there were some abuses that took place against children at some residential schools, many residential schools were optional to attend, and a lot of former residential school students say they enjoyed their time there, and the reports of thousands of missing residential school students don't actually hold up very well, much like the reports that ground-penetrating radar was used to detect and find their bodies. Now, unlike the many people who have read this book, and according to True North's founder, Candace Malcolm, who tells Rebel News, have recently made the book go up to Amazon's fourth bestseller since the Quinell controversy unrolled, Mayor Ron Paul hasn't even read the book. I have an interview coming up with his wife, Pat Morton, to give you the full scoop that the legacy media is ignoring. But for now... The mayor wants to get something off his chest, and we're going to let him do that. In spite of, you know, all of the messages of, of love and, and, um, and well wishes, I would say that this is indeed for me, and I think for Pat as well, uh, the most difficult time of our lives. And that includes uh, marriage breakups, that includes uh, loss of our parents, uh, that includes... Um, what we went through in the COVID crisis, and I and I won't get into that, uh, but I will say that I love Pat dearly, and I may not agree with everything that she does, but having said that, I totally respect her right, her constitutional right to her own opinion, to her freedom of expression, freedom of speech, uh, freedom of thought, and. Um, and I respect and love her for that. 
I am here for the people, all of the people, and not to play petty political games. And uh, I'd like to read a statement that I have uh, prepared. I am not debating the veracity of the book. How could I, since the truth is that I haven't even read it? The truth also is, contrary to what some have said, I have not distributed nor handed out the book. Those who say otherwise are lying to support their own little political schemes and to the detriment of the very rec reconciliation process that they claim to hold so dear. My support of our Indigenous people and for their well-being and for reconciliation is a matter of public record, not cheap political rhetoric, a record that gives me great pride. Attempting to hold me accountable for something my accusers know I had nothing to do with, as it was knowingly done by someone else, is nothing short of contemptuous, especially as I have clearly stated I not only hadn't done it, I didn't agree with it. Possibly I shouldn't assume, but I do, that council members and even some city appointed officials, that their spouses have their own opinions and beliefs, not necessarily in line with their own thinking. Are they to be held accountable for any and all of their actions or those committed by someone else in their family or in their neighborhood? Where does it stop? It doesn't stop. It is most unfortunate that some are willing to jeopardize the relations Quinnell has worked so hard to establish with our indigenous peoples and our indigenous neighbors, as well as with the reconciliation process. I deeply regret that. It is disrespectful to all members of our community, including specifically our indigenous community members. And now something similar happened to another BC mayor, former Williams Lake mayor, and he ended up resigning from some of his duties. Is that what we're gonna see happen here? Are you going to resign under this pressure? Absolutely not. That's it, <laughs> short and sweet. That, that is it, I, I have done nothing wrong. Uh, mm -hmm. As I said, I, I can't even judge the book because I haven't read it. And, um, you know, when it comes to this whole issue, there are more question marks um, than there are uh, periods, if you know what I mean. Um, I, I need to take some time and study this. I, I will get into the book, but at the end of the day, I'm elected as mayor of the, and this is my, I, I've been at City Hall since 1973, that's 52 years ago. And my job as mayor is to look after the city of Quinell in terms of roads and bridges and, and uh, sanitary and, and, and drinking water and um, snow removal and garbage dump and recreation. The list goes on and on and on. And I'm finding that this is a, a terrible diversion away from the real work that that I have been elected to do. Now I have an interview coming up. I spoke with your wife, who is the talk of the town and is essentially for distributing this book to a couple of people being painted as someone spreading hate. And I guess you are by association. What do you make of those accusations and essentially the council investigating a private citizen, your wife? for reading a book and sharing it? Well, I think it's totally unfair. I think it's totally uncalled for. I think it is a basically a political move that is orchestrated by a group of uh, malcontent uh, political figures that are pissed off after a year and a half that I am the mayor. And uh, this is nothing new. I, I went through a similar situation uh, in the COVID crisis and I went through a similar situation uh, with the uh, the gold pan, and I'm not going to get into that, and uh, our beloved steam shovel, uh, some some historical artifacts uh, that that were destined to be victims and and ra rallied to the scrap heap uh, out of uh, cancel culture, and uh, and I've fought that, and and I will continue to fight in that vein.
at Rebel News, we don't back down from bringing you the other side of the story. That's why we gave you the investigative documentary called Kamloops, The Buried Truth, which you can find at kamloopsdocumentary.com. And that's also why we have more reports coming up for you that you don't want to miss on the unfolding Quinell controversy. And that will also be at the same site. If you appreciate the reports that we do on this matter, you can also chip in a few bucks while you're there. Again, that is kamloopsdocumentary.com.